everyone, welcome home. As some of you may already recognise me, my name is Amy and I work for Sotheby's Realty in London. However, today we're obviously not in the UK. In collaboration with our affiliate office in Majorca, we would like to present to you this spectacular new villa in the Beverly Hills of Majorca, Son Vida. Could this be the next Love Island villa? Let's take a look inside. This incredible new listing showcases six bedrooms, seven bathrooms and a plot surface of nearly 3,000 square metres. This property is available for sale at €13,900,000. Let's take a look around, but firstly, one of the two pools. Coming out onto the first terrace, you've got this breathtaking infinity pool surrounded by sun lounges, perfect for soaking up the sun on a 30 degree day like today. If you just follow me around to the left, you can see and really absorb the views over the Port of Palma and its super yachts, its cathedral, Belvere Castle, and of course, the many golf courses. Plus, the international and private jet airport is only 15 minutes away, just over there. I personally could stand here all day just watching the planes fly in and out. Here we have a comfy sitting area for hosting guests. It's also shaded. I can really imagine the Love Islanders sitting around here ready for their recoupling. We have an indoor outdoor living design here. So heading through the full length bifold sliding doors, we have the first of three living spaces on the main floor. The living room has got a lovely minimalistic aesthetic interior design, a full size feature wall, beautiful fireplace and is so bright covering all of the view. This magnificent villa combines avant-garde architecture with technology and comfort. This room also leads back into the entrance hall where we're going to follow through into the kitchen dining area. Heading on into the kitchen, you're initially struck by these marble worktops and matching splashback with LED strip light across the top. All integrated appliances in this space. We've got a built-in extractor fan into the hop, which is something that I've never seen before. You've got double full-length fridge freezers. All cupboards are handleless, which makes the space feel really sleek and clean. Oven hidden underneath the hob and microwave tucked away also within the cupboard. This leads on in to the dining area. I personally really love what they've done with the lighting fixtures as I think it's very standout and adds to the minimalist design in line with this 3D artwork piece, which is extremely unique. Behind me, there is actually the principal bedroom suite. So coming into this room, you can see it's really light and bright because you've got more bifold doors and another entrance to the terrace providing for two more seating areas. You've got this huge glass panel connecting the bedroom to the bathroom, which again provides an abundance of light and also makes the space feel bigger than it already is. Here in the principal bedroom's ensuite bathroom, you've got Glass doors, full length, separating the toilet and shower rooms. You've got dual sinks, and because of the glass panelling, a clear view over the Bay of Palma. It's also key to note that even though this property maintains an open plan design, every space can be closed off by sliding doors. And then just at the back of the principal bedroom suite, we have this amazing walk-in wardrobe dressing area which has been fully kitted out with automatic LED lighting as soon as you open the doors. There's definitely enough space to have one side his, one side hers for clothing, shoes, jewellery. There is just so much space. Before concluding the main floor, we have a guest cloakroom to my right and also a lift on my left which goes to all floors of the property. Let's take a look downstairs where we have yet another swimming pool, would you believe? Coming down onto the middle level of the property, you are immediately presented with this indoor swimming pool, which I think is a great addition to the home if one wasn't enough for you. So firstly, we have this chill out area where we've got shelving for towels before you reach the actual pool with jets and water features. 
The pool is surrounded by glass, which even though the sun is shining in at the moment, in fact, all day round as this property is south facing, this space can be used all year round with views over the landscape gardens. I think it's a really nice touch as you can still absorb the whole view even though you're inside. Also on this level, we have a three further double bedrooms. So if you'd like to follow me, we'll take a look at those. Heading on into the first of the three double bedrooms, all of the rooms are of a similar size and design, so there's no arguments about who has what. You've got a lovely wood detailing on the cupboards. Again, full length glass doors for the shower. Into the main bedroom area, the space is really light and bright due to the full length bifold doors. You've got also full length wardrobes, which provide for tons of storage. Here we have the terrace, which caters for all three of these double bedrooms. So here we are going into the second double bedroom, which is again of a similar size and a similar design. You've got the ensuite bathroom, which can be closed off by the sliding doors and more storage. And just quickly, one more double bedroom with a large ensuite bathroom, bedroom area, and full length wardrobes leading onto the terrace. Before we head downstairs to the lowest level of the property, we have a storage cupboard to our left and yet another principal bedroom suite, so let's take a look inside. So we have a long corridor which leads straight into the ensuite bathroom of this principal bedroom suite. The difference about this bathroom is that you've got full length windows and you've also got a full length window in the shower room. There's no worry of being overlooked as the property is completely private and you've also got a waterfall shower head there. Just coming through into another corridor, we've got full length wardrobes. This room has an abundance of storage as this whole wall here to my left and to my right is full length wardrobes. So you've got this living area which is I think is a really nice touch and a wall which acts as a divider between the sleeping and the living area. Following through we're now into the sleeping area. Just around the corner there's another ensuite bathroom and it's key to note that this bedroom also has its own private terrace connecting the living area and the sleeping area with views over the swimming pool views over the landscape gardens and of course of Parma. Onto the ground level of the property, the first thing you see is this glass mirrored garage which has space for three cars and again following the glass theme you have a wooden wine cellar. This then leads on into a fully equipped gymnasium which is lit through LED lighting and also windows. The wall is completely mirrored, but this room is multi-purposeful, so it doesn't necessarily need to be a gymnasium. It can be designed to your unique requirements. Finally, on this floor, we have this space, which can be used as a utility room or cellar. We then have a room for staff, which has a double bedroom and also an ensuite bathroom. So here we are back out on the main terrace of the villa. If you'd like to know a little bit more about the property, then a link to the listing will be in the description box below, or feel free to give us a call on plus 44 020 7495 9580. Definitely keep an eye out for our next Mallorcan Vida tour. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.